Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I'll, I'll be showing you guys how to use ChatGPT as a graphic designer. But in today's video, I'll be, you know, I'll outline um, about a few points on how you can use ChatGPT effectively as a graphic designer. So with that being said, let's get started. So you can do well to stay to the end of this tutorial. I'll also be showing you how to use ChatGPT to create a logo design. <laughs> yes, I like right. Don't worry, you would see what I'm talking about when you get there. So we just do it to stick to the end. So let's get started, guys. So the first thing I did here was to, you know, I told ChatGPT to help me create a cover letter. So I'm actually not familiar with Upwork and Fiverr, but I actually did this, um, you know, asked ChatGPT to create the cover letter for me. So the first one was draft a persuasive cover letter in 150 word. This is actually important too, using a um, word count so that, you know, ChatGPT might not give you sometimes the cover letters you might get will be long sometimes it might be short or so, well, even if it's long you can just tell chat gpt to shorten this just tell it to shorten it and to do that for you so i did this draft a persuasive cover letter in 150 word or less or less yes this is nice alighting my qualification and enthusiasm for the role of the graphic designer at this company there's a space for the company name using the job description below so you copy um you go to upwork just like you can see from the job search you go there and the same way they um, copied sorry they wrote the um what they need for the job i just copied that and pasted it here so let me read this one i um did from i took from a book the like i told ChatGPT for my point to use this job description below so the job description that i took from um a book was i'm looking for a brand new logo for my talent market here's the logo i designed myself i like the pink symbol and the colors obviously so just suggestion i welcome so um ChatGPT generated this for me the prompt which you're actually reading now i'm writing to um to express my interest in the graphic design role at this company with a strong background in design i am confident in my ability to bring fresh and innovative ideas to the table so now it's uh, this is this part is also nice my portfolio showcase my expertise in creating visual appealing designs that are both on board and on trend so in this particular point you can input to your portfolio link it's okay let's continue i'm particularly excited about the opportunities to work on a brand new logo so I actually won't read this all the way to the end but you can actually scroll down so now i did something now i told it to i forgot to include the call to action i told it to do and i asked ChatGPT to do this so after writing everything it wrote earlier so it, so at this um um ending area it's okay so say i would love to schedule a call or an interview or interview to further discuss how my skill and experience align with the requirement of the role so this is like, actually not like i said i'm not good with um oppo can find so i don't know how um but this is actually nice but i don't know how strong it is for a cover letter so the one thing about ChatGPT is that it's actually not perfect but it's actually really nice so the final results from ChatGPT might not be okay with you so that's why of course you can do well to re-edit that but it's actually ChatGPT is just very 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 good for a starting point in anything so um this that's for um the cover letter so i'll be displaying some from um, prompts you can actually use now on the screen you've seen some prompts which you can actually use for cover letters on the screen i think it's four four or five next thing which you can actually use um ChatGPT for is um writing instagram bio so i did this for my own personal bio i told you i told you that i would like to write a very good and engaging instagram bio for my instagram account and honestly speaking this one that chatgpt generated for me i actually like it so here's my previous one i pasted my um instagram the previous instagram bio and it generated this for me elevate your brand and drive sales with stunning designs let me help you stand out and attract more clients on instagram this is actually nice follow me for more creative inspiration and effective solution for your business so i now tell you to improve the first one from what is actually generated so it gave me this um unlock the full potential of your brand and business with my unique design from increased visibility to boost your sale i'm able to help you stand out and thrive on instagram this is actually nice too so you can just use chargbt to generate your clients but you pick the existing one and tell chargbt to you know make it better for you so the next one here is using chargbt to write a youtube script yes, this is it. kindly help me write a youtube script okay one thing about prompting also sometimes is that um if, if you are direct or just straightforward you might not get the exact results you want so most times i actually use ChatGPT like i'm conversing with a normal person i told you to kindly write me a youtube script for my youtube video here's my youtube title i pasted it i pasted my youtube title i also told it to include keyword as well that will make my video rank high on youtube honestly speaking um the best result i've seen from ChatGPT um currently has been on my youtube channel that i've been using it for mainly and i really honestly it's really really nice that it helped me to save time a lot like big time that i used to generate um description uh even copies for my 
um, post on Instagram and stuff like that. So I said this to include keywords. This is actually important. Oh, don't worry, when we get to the description section after this, you I'll tell you why. So I tell you to include keywords and um that make my video rank and also try to hook the viewers in. So I'm actually not um a fan of um using YouTube script, but I started doing that recently. So once I've generated I already because I already know the script, um you know, I'm already seeing what I'm doing from the tutorial. So what I do is to before I do it sometimes I ask for YouTube for YouTube script from from ChatGPT and once that's giving me that I read through everything again and some points that actually in I might forget to mention in my tutorial I pick that out from there and honestly speaking that has been really really helpful so this is the script is actually helpful for others um faceless um youtube channels you can just once you've done this you convert this youtube script from text to speech and then you're going to go in creating that um youtube tutorial so that is that for using um ChatGPT to create um youtube script the next one um which will be going to is on will be on youtube um description so ChatGPT might actually be you know misbehaving sometimes on your device so all you need to do is either just refresh your page or log out and log in back if you type that if you put in that prompt and it shows um by experiencing error or something like that or it just shows any error just refresh your page or log or log out or log in so i took a bit to help me to write a youtube description for my youtube video and i gave it my title so i after inputting my title so now this is actually when i after making my research I actually need it was important to you know use keywords in your description so i took a bit to include keywords and tags that make my youtube video rank higher and try to hook the viewers it's also similar to previous prompts so i try to also hook the viewers in so they can watch my video to the end and honestly speaking the youtube description that was generated here um from reading everything was actually pretty nice especially the keywords so if you can see the keywords it's even um listed out the keywords here so if you can see the keywords that are listed here, if you read back from your description you see that they were imputed in this um youtube description so actually this is actually uh, like i said that should really save my time so much on, on my youtube channel um, for this, I do it every time now. <laughs> Even for this tutorial, I'm using ChatGPT to generate my YouTube description. So yes, let's go to the next one, which I, which you'll be um seeing here, and that is uh for using ChatGPT to generate um titles and headline. So you can actually use ChatGPT to generate titles and headline. So this is it. I tell you to give me a more attractive or engaging title for my YouTube video, and, and I imputed my um title, my YouTube title. This tutorial also uh, yes, I also said that this tutorial is for um, those designing with their smartphones and it says um unleashing your inner design and master photo manipulation in your smartphone with pixel app so i was not okay with that i also asked you to give me five more catchy titles that will help me get clicks so you really need to be the more creative you are with your prompt the more creative um results you're going to get so actually when i read through this i, I went to the actually like number five which is unlock the power of pixel app on your smartphone then photo manipulation techniques this is actually nice where well, you can actually you know combine um the beginning or the ending of the generated results from these five points and you get a um nice result too that is for using ChatGPT to you know write titles and um headline so the next one which i did was to use ChatGPT to write um copies right i use it to um uh, i just created a a fake oh yes 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 it's actually a fake um design class i'm not doing any design class currently <laughs> so i just created a fake design class and asked ChatGPT to generate me a copy for that so this is it this is the graphic design um copy for the flyer design class which i said is actually not real so i told it to do this i like sometimes it's um the prompt it doesn't have to actually be like a prompt you know that prompt prompt so you just need to like you're conversing with this ai so you can speak formally so formally too so i think that i just finished designing my flyer of my flyer for my graphic design class my flyer team is this design like a pro the class price is five thousand euro kindly write me a persuasive copy that i can use to advertise my design class so it did this you can see how short this first copy is but i was not actually not satisfied, satisfied with this so if you can read through you can see that it started with unlock your full potential as a graphic designer design like a pro learn the secret and techniques and from there it went to from typography to colors and um investing yourself today this actually is worse. So this is another nice prompt you can actually be using. Actually, I'm using this currently. I'm honestly speaking, this is actually nice. This particular prompt. Kindly add more details, examples, and facts to this point to make it more informative and interesting. And also include the CTA. So now take a look at this. You can see the previous the previous um results are deeply generated for us. But when I included this prompt, this new prompt now, you can see what it did. So from the first part, which it actually did, it didn't include this. Yeah, you will learn how to use um late, the latest software like Adobe Photoshop Illustrator and InDesign. You learn how to create design that are visually appealing and how to effectively um effectively communicate your message to your audience. And now it's also included this. This is what I actually like more. By the end of this class, you learn the skill and knowledge to create professional grade design for website, brochures, slides, business card, and more. Invest in yourself and your future on your future career for just a thousand years don't miss out this opportunity this is actually actually really nice like i said this prompt 
um you can actually jot down this prompt kindly add more details example and facts i'll be displaying every prompt that i use for this tutorial every prompt will be displayed on the screen so this is actually how you can use it's not even if you're not a graphic designer and you're watching this tutorial you just you should be able to you know tweak out all these points yeah this is just an idea now you can use chat gpt for yourself as well so the um next one i did here was to use chat gpt to create a graphic design offer and this is it for the graphic design um offer I told you to a graphic designer and writing a design of a new resistible one. I tried 10,000 rapper uh, flyer design that was study for a start. I just wanted to test this out. And the first results are actually not nice. So if I was to input that um previous prompt I mentioned now, kindly adding more details or stuff. I don't want the offer to be actually too long. So I just did this. Kindly include a basic package, a premium package, and pro package. So it actually did this for 10,000 from 10,000 naira for a single flyer design to so it's eight um flyers, two complementary social media banners for 70,000 and the pro package was 12 designs and um four complementary social media banners for 100,000. So this is actually really the offer is actually nice. So you can actually use this for yourself for, for your clients. You can do this now for the current um promo you're running for Valentine. You can just do this. So now this is the interesting part like I, that I mentioned earlier on how you can use chat GBT to create logo designs. So quickly I'll just head over to that so this is what i actually did on um, for the local design aspect so i asked the gpt to design me a logo and just like just just that design me a logo here's my um brief my design brief you know the one i generated so i took this design brief from go, goodbrief.com so after doing that i just pasted it here design me a logo here's my design brief i pasted brief so it's actually this is what the gpt said I'm sorry, but I cannot. I'm a text um gener generation model, and I'm not able to create logos. However, I can give you some suggestions that you can pass along to a professional designer. Now, this is where it actually got interesting. So, for the logo, consider using cool colors. It's even suggested color I could use, and told me why I could use those colors. Told me why I could use this colors because from the name, I think this is from the company name. Yes, from the company name, um, which is uh, when I researched on Google, I found out I can actually use blue. So this is actually nice. It also told me to incorporate um images I can actually use. Or uh, I can actually use in this logo design project. So this is actually helpful because this is all about this is a part of logo creation too. So just generating ideas from here. I'm doing the final result from Beyond's um from Beyond's Dribble or whatever site you use for inspiration is actually nice. It's even suggested a font that I can use for this logo design project. So I that I use a modern modern um modern font for font for this and um okay and for the company name that will appeal to the target audience of women and a sense of luxury. Okay, this is actually nice. Also, honestly speaking, this is nice. So I went ahead to, you know, this is in case you're wondering or you don't get this point. This is just like a, when you're creating a logo design, you know, the brief you are showing your audience on how you generated this concept. This is what ChatGPT actually did. And honestly speaking, I'll be honest with you, this is actually nice. Before it explained why I could use the colors, it explained the font I could actually use. It explained the um, Okay, the image too I can actually use. So I, the next one I actually did was for a billboard to design a billboard. So I told ChatGPT to the same prompt I used, design me a billboard using this brief, just that, just that. So even for Upwork, for the uh, those using Upwork, the brief uh, she likes it, she likes it, she called the brief, the description that the client or wherever is needing a job describes. So you can just just the same way you did that for cover letter, write me cover letter on this. I pick out the um description. You can use it here also for the. For the um logo design or whatever design you are actually working on so i did this and i pasted my um pasted my brief so yeah i even love this part for the billboard um aspect yes a possible design for the billboard so you said that the background of the billboard should, um, could be bright bright bold color such as blue or yellow to convey a sense of excitement and for my brief it says here that I want to convey a sense of excitement. So I went ahead and said the company name broadcast could be prominently featured in the center of the billboard. It didn't tell me I could use the company, um, you know, the name, which it also suggested the font I could use a modern or a bold font. So from the brief also, they said they want to convey Greek. Um, okay, we're a company that makes and distributes Greek food. So it says here that to convey the Greek aspect of the company, consider incorporating imagery such as Greek flag or traditional Greek patterns to the design. So this is actually getting nice to emphasize the fact that food is made with love and should be related to your homes. Consider including, wow, okay, this is nice. It's also included a tagline for me that I can actually use in my design. I just suggested two tagline. Two tagline actually bring the taste um the taste of Greek to your doorstep. Honestly, this is this is nice. This is really really nice. So I can't really read through, so you can actually pause this tutorial and, um, you know, read through everything. So the last thing we have here is using ChatGPT to, you know, write emails, using ChatGPT to write emails. This is actually nice. So I would, um for this emails aspect, this is, um I think the prompt where, which I researched online, there were about four to five. So I'll be displaying everything on the screen, but let me just read through the one I used here. I said, like I said, you can start, your prompt does not necessarily have to be you, you know, asking ChatGPT a question. You can just start with you 
conversing with the AI at first. So I started with my client that is responding to my last follow up, create me a reminder email for an upcoming deadline for a design project. So it did this dear whatever your client name is. I hope this email finds you as well. I want to remind you about the upcoming design, the deadline for our design project. I previously discussed the deadline is this, so you can input that deadline date there. So if you read down um, real quick, you see um the email ChatGPT generated for us. So these are the type of emails. I mean the prompt I actually used. So you can see the next one, which is here, create a follow up email to send to um potential clients after a call. So ChatGPT generated the um the results for me. I think I did under one down. Yes, this is it. Generate the thank you email to send to customers after purchase. So this is actually really nice. The um, part I actually love here yeah, um mostly throughout the whole um stuff I use ChatGPT to generate was actually the logo design creation aspects honestly speaking that i really love that um that um aspect because it gave me a reason why i could actually use that and you can you know include that in your logo design when you are explaining to your client or your audience why you did this how you generated that concept so honestly speaking that's the part i love <laughs> the most in this tutorial so that is actually um all is that's not all actually but that's just a few of um everything you can actually use ChatGPT to do so you shouldn't like take ChatGPT output sometimes sometimes you shouldn't take ChatGPT output as the final result it's more like um it's a starting point for you and honestly speaking it's really really helpful it's just that's why you um are uh, um, prompting so you can go back to edit whatever you want just be able to talk with the ai and you know tell it what you want exactly so the more um creative you are with um prompting the more creative result ChatGPT is going to generate for you so you should just do that you can ask you can also use ChatGPT to ask for graphic design questions you can ask it to summarize your books or you can ask it to write emails there are many more which i can't even say in this tutorial but honestly speaking for you as a graphic designer you can use ChatGPT for a whole lot of things so do guys let me know on um, some particular points which i actually didn't mention in this tutorial or what you think if we can actually use ChatGPT to do as graphic design designers to make our life easier i really appreciate it i also want to learn too do guys let me know in the comment section and thank you so much thank you a very big thanks to everyone for staying to the end i really appreciate it. thank you guys i'll see you guys in my next tutorial